with three prostitutes and a business contact from Dubai. That was three days ago. Police are increasingly worried about his safety. Bryant, who's been in prison... That's the view from our balcony. That's Manolo. This is like the main beach bar in Los Cristiano. I don't believe this. 74 quid for telephone? I use me mobile. Oh, that's Manolo's partner, Geordie Graham, and that's one of the waitresses. <laughs> they do this live sex show at breakfast. It is such a laugh, Mum. They do it to True by Spandau Ballet. Yeah, and when he comes, they play the theme from The Bill. The Bill? It was Thunderbirds, Lee. 80 pounds for drinks and snacks. What is this, a Dorchester? I guess who that is. Jacques Cousteau. Mum, it's Lee doing his sub aqua. I know. Was it fun, Lee, love? Oh, brilliant, Mrs C. Absolutely brilliant. Two ten-minute lessons. They let you fuck off on your own, unsupervised, like. It's like another world down there. It's like the fish are birds and the water's air. Yeah, a bit like the inside of your head, then, Lee. Oi, leave Lee alone. Oh, well, you can hardly blame me, can you? She gets a two-week break with a man from Atlantis here. I get a bill for 240 quid. Treat this place like a hotel pool. So will I. I'm sick of it. You can settle up or you can clear out. Well, I ain't got the money on me now, have I? Well, maybe if you got up off your ass and did a proper day's work, you would. Harsh, Mother. Very harsh, cos I do work. I'm in that cab, day in... Proper th work, Paul. Not pretending to be some kind of cray twin, giving it large down a fox, throwing all your money away in wagstaff racing, scheming with your silly little mate, Sean. You know what, Mum? I think you're right. What? About Sean. He is holding me back. You know, only this morning I had this dream, right? I'm lying on the... Three choices, Paul. You get a job, you get the money, or you get out. See ya. Well, go on then, Shiv. Twist the knife. <laughs> well, I can hardly blame her, Paul. I mean, you ain't had a proper job in 15 years. Proper job. One word for that, Shiv. Naive, yeah? Cos I've got to be out there. Grafting, cracking away, waiting for the big one. Someone can come knocking on that door right now. Bang. <coughs> Opportunity knocks. I'm going to miss it, aren't I? I'm stuck in some poxy nine to five proper job. Little pigs, little pigs. <laughs> Talk about opportunity knocks. Opportunity just leapt out the window. <laughs> Morning, all. Yeah, what's wrong with your mum? Mum, the dog walked straight past me without a word. Must be her time of month or something. Yeah, tell me about it. Mind you, a woman her size. She probably has some really heavy... Yeah, all right, Sean, easy, mate. Look at this. £240 bill from my own mother. Well, you can relax about that, mate, cos our ship has just come in big time. Oh, yeah? You know Derek owns a blue spot nightclub? Yeah. He's got a new backer, hasn't he? And we're talking proper serious money here. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. Just something Shiv and I were discussing earlier. What's that? Sounds like opportunity knocking to me, Shiv. Good job I ain't stuck in an office. Carry on, Sean. Basically, he's gonna rip the arse out of the gaff. We're talking about a two million pound reefer. Like it, like it. Carry on, Sean. Incorporating a vibrating floor sound system, eight bars, VIP room, water wall, full sun lighting rig, state-of-the-art laser show by Amamarchi of Vienna, 
Uh, 12 cages for dancers. Uh, full show, fringe service. Like it, like it. Carry on, Sean. Seriously, mate, I could go out rounds, but basically, right, give you the idea of the size of the place, we're talking about a 25-man security team at any one time. That's a 400-stone door, Paul. Min. 400-stone door. A shift. So come on, Sean. What's in it for us? What's in it for us? I'll tell you what's in it for us. 12 you rhinos. What? Twyford Vitreous. <laughs> 1934s. <laughs> Derek says if we pick them up before 11, we can have them gratis. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Do you know what, Sean? I don't know why I have it with you sometimes. I really don't. So you're not interested then? No! <laughs> I am not interested in 12 use urinals. Who would be? Roger Flint for one. Skin Flint. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> said he'd give us a score each for him. <laughs> score. Let's say 300 men, 12 pints, call it 10. That's 3,000 pints. So that's 600,000 pints a year. Club's been open 20 years. So that's 12 million pints. Divide that by 12 year rhinos. Do you realise, Paul? That means this baby alone has swallowed a million pints of urine. A million pints, Paul. Imagine that. Imagine it. I can smell it short. Where are you going? Roger Jar straight up. I know, but if you think I'm driving down the high street with this lot on board, you are very much mistaken, Sean. Anyone saw me, I'd have to leave the country. Tiller each not. They work? Of course they do. Just give me back my blood clark things, yeah? What, like your empty speakers? Yeah. See, look, nothing, nothing. It's all black inside, man. I well, I knew that, though. No. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rebo, you're going to have to buy that now, you know? Tell you what, you'd have a hard time stopping me by it, mate. Tell her, yeah? 50. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Lovely. Right. Ten or each, we said, didn't we? Twenty. Hey, you got to give it a go, ain't you, lads? Come on, hold out your hands. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And a pleasure doing business with you. Oi, 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 oi. Where's the other 200? You what? 20 quid each, you said. 12 urinals, that's 240 pounds. No, 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 no. 20 quid each for you two. Not 20 quid per urinal. Fucking clans. What are you looking at me for? Give me the money. Flint! <laughs> I still say we should have taken the money. At the end of the day, 20 quid is 20 quid! Yeah, and that's the difference between you and me, Sean. What, 20 quid? No, 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 no. It's bigger than that, mate. Much bigger. It's about self-respect, isn't it? OK, I'm down 20 quid when I most need it. When I go out tonight, I'll be able to look at myself in that mirror. And no, Sean, no, I ain't sold myself short. No, you sold me short. Oh, look, if the money is that important to you, Sean, yeah? Next 20 quid I'll get, you can have it. Oh, I'll take you up on that, then. Gear out on the table. The geezers looked at me. He said, Is it strong? I said, Put it this way, mate. If you're wearing braces, clip them to your socks, because this stuff is rocket fuel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save again, Tim, all round. 
Oh my God, look who's crawled back into town. I oh, don't believe it. Paul Clark. All right, Ruth. Long time no see. You well? Well, Fee. Come on, let me get you a drink. No, that's all right. I've got to talk a bit of business with Sean. Come on, Sean. Ruben! Oh, great, Sean, all off. Get over here, son. How are you, mate? Girls, this is Sean. All right. The original acting man. Yeah, you're looking good, mate. Well pumped, son. So what are you having? No, don't tell me. Diet Coke, bag of nuts. You remember? Of course I did. So where you been? I ain't seen it for ages. Listen, we'll have a little chat later, eh? It's you and me, yeah? Thanks. Ah, oh, so you decided to join us after all. Come on in. What are you having? Oh, that's all right. I'll take care of that. That's all right. I got it. Put your money away. It's sorted. Very good of you, Paul. That's all right. Tim, I'm getting this round here. Yeah? Whatever they're having. Are you sure, Paul? Oh, of course I'm sure. You're trying to make me look bad in front of everyone. No, it's just the last round Reuben bought was for the whole pub. Quite a hefty round. £95.40. Yeah, it's fine. I'll put it on your tab then, Paul. Yeah, cheers, Tim. So how long are you going to be around, Rube? Well, I'm out of my bay now, you know. Come back here to see the family. Bit of business crops up, you know. So you're back living with your mum, then? Fucking hell, what are you, CID? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough about me. What's Acton's top boy been up to? Apart from spending all his money on clothes. Ah, you know. Grafting away, putting a few crumbs on the table. So where are you living nowadays? What are you, CID? <laughs> <laughs> Reuben Smith, I don't believe him. You don't write, you don't call. What have you been doing, man? Well, you know, bit of this, bit of that. <laughs> Ducking and diving. What about you? What have you been up to? Ah, you know, bit of this, bit of that. Cracking away, keeping the wall from the door. You know it is. You still living at your mum's, then? Uh. What, you a copman now, something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably where he's been the last couple of years. <laughs> Marbella. More like Hendon Police Training College. Oh, jealousy will get you nowhere, Paul. You should know that by now. What's that, in life or in the Met? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you're good, Mr Clark. You're very, very good. <laughs> oh, come on, Ollie, wasn't that funny? No, it is, though, man. I mean, here you are, right? Giving it all the bigot in front of the chats, going on like you're some kind of Mr Big. And I've got to say, that is confident behaviour for a man who was clocked earlier today driving down the road with a car full of urinals. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Ignore him, he's talking bollocks. I'm talking bollocks, am I? Well, maybe we want to have a little look at this then. Exhibit A. Yeah, well, that just looks like a black geezer's taking a picture of his own knob. Yeah, not that, not that. <clears throat> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> I told you I could smell piss, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny, very funny. Oh, come on, Paul. Here you are, giving it grafting away, trying to make ends meet. Turns out you've moved into the second-hand urinal business. Yeah, I can see it now. Paul Clark, urinals are us. <laughs> <laughs> it's sale time, Paul. You can say prices slashed. <laughs> <laughs> Any inquiries, give us a tin call. <laughs> <laughs> what about urine action? <laughs> You're in the money. <laughs> <laughs> Piss a hut. Oh. Oh. You could even have an outdoor showroom. Call it WC Fields. <laughs> I'm going for a slash. Brilliant, Paul. How about going for a slash? Yeah. Oh, Paul, yeah. while you're in there, you couldn't do me a valuation. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, old boy, I know you were in an embarrassing position, but you know the rules about credit. I'm afraid until you can pay me back, I'd prefer it if you stayed away. Oh, come on, Tim, you know I'll pay you back. Please don't do this to me, not in front of Ruben. You've got to have rules, Paul, otherwise the whole thing falls apart. In your own time. Hey, up, boys! Come on, Paul, hurry up! Slow down a bit! Race to the whip, hey! Hold the seven in the orange. That'll do it. Oh, you think you're really smart, don't you? Coming in here, stirring up trouble. Oh, what's the matter? Can't take a joke. Hey, big strong boy like you. Unless they're having a laugh, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> you want to laugh at anything, that lot. Bunch of mackerels. Stop buying them booze, see what happens. Funny. Sean's only had a Diet Coke. He seems to be laughing. Catch you later. Oh, by the way, Paul, it's school of mackerels. Wait up, 
Boys, I'm starving. Well, hurry up then. Probably shut the time he gets there. See you down there, Paul. Come on, Sean. Yeah. See you down there, Paul. Wait up, Rubes! Paul, off you go. Oh, come on, shall I just put a quid? Come on. What you got? Chip noise. Shall I shoot the shelf out? Two well, I'll have to write you eight pence, all right. Hello? All right, Rog. You're never going to believe this, but I have just had a call from a customer at the Cumbrian Museum of Industry and Craft, and it turns out that they're looking for Twyford urinals. Yeah, identical to them ones you had yesterday. Oh, is that right, is it? How much? One hundred pounds. Per urinal, Paul. You're sitting on a gold mine, mate. Oh, I was sitting on a gold mine, Rog. Unless you know someone who's in a bit of the old sco scuba diving. Listen, Rog, can I call you back? All right, mate. Mum, is Shift going out shopping all day? As far as I know. Lee? Mate. Can't believe you took so long, Lee. Now I've got to pay extra hire for this lot. Go and shove the gloves in. Oh, it's rank in there, Paul, I tell you, man. It's dead murky and all. The water stinks of water rats like that bastard. Lee, look around you, mate. This is acting, not the mall dives. Any dickhead can shove on a couple of aqualungs and ponce about in crystal clear tropical waters, but this... this... This is the real thing, Lee. You just turned pro. Yeah, right. I've never really thought about it like that. Yeah. Right. You keep yourself nice and warm, keep your muscles supple. Otherwise, you'll go all stiff. You won't be able to load this lot up. I'm going to go and call Rog, tell him we're on the way. Right. Paul. Thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred 1200 quid. Had a pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine, I can assure you, Rog. Yeah, we'll take them up to Cumbria in a caravan. Make a long weekend of it. My wife loves the lakes. A bit quiet this time of year, isn't it, Rog? Don't you believe it. Loads of couples up there. Last time we had a bit of a party, I ended up having a total stranger shove a dildo right up me. You're a bit of an old bloke, aren't you, Rog? What's 
he pointing at his arse for? I'll tell you what, Lee, you think you know people. <laughs> Here you go, mate. Here's a hundred. Oh, nice one. Don't spend it all on drugs. No, right, no, see you right. This money's gonna get me and shiv up to Leeds for the weekend. Well, we're just about. Go on, then. Here's another 20 in case of emergencies. And that doesn't include running out of ecstasy. Listen, you must be freezing. But you can't wait to get home and have a nice hot bath, eh? Too right, man. Here you go, then, Lee. Two eight three will take you straight home. You're not going to drop me off? Lee, you are a professional. You've just given a professional service. I mean, Richard Branson don't give his pilots a lift home at the end of the day, does he? Now, go on, get out. I don't fucking believe this, Paul. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. 40, 60, 80, 100. There you go, Tim. Thank you, Paul. You wouldn't let me down. Actually, Tim, thinking about it, uh, may as well stick the change in the old karaoke challenge. Here's the extra 40. There we go. Oh, you're going to be defending your title. Best duet, wasn't it? Hey! Yes, I reckon you and Sean did Rawhide better than the Blues Brothers. Sorry, what's that? You and Sean better than the Blues Brothers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yes! Thinking about it, Tim, uh, might as well just stick me down for the solo category this year. The winners, still the champs of the pub, Ruby and Sean! All right, Paul, where you been, mate? I've been trying to get hold of you all day. Ah, oh, you know, just sorting out a bit of business. Ah, oh. here's that score I owe you. There you go. Oh, I tell you what, you can have my share as well. What's there you? we go. Where'd you get all that from? Those are your idols. Yeah. Turns out they're worth a one or a piece. Imagine that. Luck I didn't go with your gut feeling and take skin flints 24 of May. Anyway, I've got things to do, and I can see you have as well. Catch you later. Don't worry about it, Sean. Got plenty of work for a man like you. Well, the body was discovered just an hour ago. We're going over to Detective Sergeant Jeff Walsh, live at the scene. Jeff, I understand this is now an ongoing murder investigation. Do we know anything about the victim? Due to the horrific nature of this slain, I cannot give out that information. Particularly as Mr Bryant's family have not yet... Oh, fuck. Can we go again? And then I just said his name, didn't I? I did. I said Brian. What? We seem to have lost that link, but if anyone has information... They should call 020... 7636-1846. Sport now and Brentford striker Marcus Bantock has... Listen, I don't know how relevant it is, but I was walking my dog along the canal the other day and... Gareth Randall. Bantock was taken to hospital after the incident. Should never have left Palace. I'll have that. Oi, 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 oi. Envelope. It's 300 quid in there. Should give me a bit of credit. Where'd you get this? I went out and did a bit of work, didn't I? Proper work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there he is, bottom of the canal. I've gone, Lee, shark, mate, shark! I swear to God, that water has turned an even darker shade of brown, mother. <laughs> and he got all 12? Oh, yeah, like that. He's a natural, mum. All he needed was a break, you know? Find his calling in life. Well, you certainly gave him that. Yeah, yeah. Shivers made up and all, you know, it meant they could go to Leeds. I managed to, you know, bungle an extra 20 just in case. Oh, man of the house now, are we? They're good kids. What about Sean? Where does he fit in all this? I don't think we'll be seeing him in a while, Mother. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, you know, it's the first day's work I've done without him in 15 years. I managed to pull in 1,200 quid. What does that tell you? Tells me you're best off doing your own thing. Too right. Proud of you, Paul. I never thought I would ever say that. Yeah, well, from now on, I'm gonna play it straight. Buy the book, right? 
you ain't never gonna see me in trouble again. Come here. Give your old mum a hug. Paul Clark, I'm arresting you for murder. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be used as evidence against you in a court of law. Take him away, Sergeant. <laughs> 